Hello, I'm doing another live video. Um, this is pretty funny. I really, I need to really get a handle on these flyaways. So, this was an epiphany last week, but before last week, <clears throat> a few weeks ago, during Fadu practice, it just really dawned on me. Um, after the practice was over, and I, you know, was reunited with my, with my hubby and my daughter, um, I started to realize that the reason why I like it so much is that I finally have found a channel to put all my stress, frustrations, uh, sadness, pain, all right there. When you're singing, you're letting it out, right? So after the practice, I felt extremely relieved, like a whole weight was lifted off to, off of my shoulders. So I, for a fact, know that for me, singing, especially singing Fadu, something that, you know, is very strong, and most Fadu songs are sad, and I am... Um, the opposite of that in my normal day-to-day -day life. I'm an extremely funny, happy person, always joking around. And this is a different side of me that I get to show, which is the more like serious side, um, more transparent type of a side, not always joking around. I think it's funny that I'm in the parking lot at work doing this. Um, hey, I'm on my lunch break, it's okay. So yeah, I think what makes a great fadishta is is really believing in the words that you're saying, but not only that, connecting it to yourself and and helping others that are listening to you, whether it be on the audience, uh, live audience, or whether it be uh, online here on Facebook or or Instagram or whatever, that it connects with somebody else that's going through a hard time. So for me, I started getting really into it um, when I had my first real devastation, which was at uh, almost 20 years old. So I started getting into it around 19, 20. And um, I got really deep into it after my first bad thing that happened to me, which was a breakup. And then after that, was in a really bad relationship for uh, quite a long time time many many years um too many years is what i'm trying to say and so i was in that bad relationship and after that i started getting into it even more like even more and more and then now um being married and having a kid totally different scenario and life is is good overall in general but of course there are still pain uh things that bring pain, disappointments, whether it be um, career-wise, work-wise, or family, and I'm not talking about like immediate family, I'm not talking about mom, dad, Jesse, my husband, or Amelia, I'm talking about like, you know, this is not a secret. Many of you who know our family know that we haven't been the same after grandma passed away, so I think all of these different things make a good fadishta because I was actually making a joke about this last week to my mom. Um, I considered myself a real fadishta and to be good not only for my voice and I appreciate everyone you know with all their feedback and, and comments and compliments so I'm trying to say I appreciate that but I think what what I was trying to to say to my mom last week where I got my revelation was I am good because I have pain. I feel I have a heart. This is real. So I feel like I am good because I am able to really relieve myself of the pain and the anger and the stress when I am singing. And to me, it's very therapeutic and I love it. So just like some people love to go racing or painting or whatever, and I do love painting too. But this for me is like an immediate relief. After I, I sing it and get all my energy out right after, I feel immediate relief. So I feel fortunate that I have found um, something that not only is therapeutic, 
but it's relaxing, something I love, something that's fun, something that makes me proud because uh, it has to do with my culture. So um, even though I feel s still pain that grandma's not here and, and family life isn't the same as it was or as good as it can be, um, I think that she would be extremely proud that I'm still, you know, really involved in my culture, still speaking the language. Obviously, I have no other choice but to speak the language. But, um, yeah, it came to my realization last week, even though I did make a joke about it. And along the lines of, yeah, life, keep it coming. Keep the bad stuff coming. It gives me material. It gives me material to sing about. So, uh, yeah, keep it coming, life. Keep it rolling. So whatever life has to give to you, whether it be good or bad, in this case, I'm talking about a bad thing, um, and turning it into a positive and turning it in, into a good thing. And unfortunately, it took me years to figure that out. But fortunately for me, I'm still young and I found this out now. <laughs> so I think the answer to the question is what makes a good Fadisha is is when you go through pain and you go through life and you go through those experiences whether it be good or bad majority of fadu is about sad and bad things but there are some happy songs but i think that what makes a good fadisha is believing in what you're singing and helping yourself through the song and helping others who have gone through the same thing or a similar situation help them out as well so i think that's the answer to that all right i have to go back lunchtime is over bye